this is pit road. I'll let you do the tour. I'll ride, and if you want me to stop or do whatever, how about that? I'll let you. Oh, you good? Because you 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 driven it in uh, real time. Oh man, yeah. So this is pit road, and going down pit road, you're gonna be at the far right, like Mike is right now, and then to the left, that's pit road wall. So the pink wall right there, is pink breast cancer awareness month. Um, the pit crews jump off that wall and change your tires so you got to park your truck or race car in that little yellow box so they'll say five four three two one like this and then you'll park right here in the center and you're in second gear foot on the clutch foot on the brake hold the steering wheel straight while they change all the tires and then when they drop the jack you take off as fast as you can to get up to 45 mile an hour and get all the way back out to the right side and you're trying to beat people off pit road so even though you're under caution and you're not on a racetrack, this is still a super competitive situation. Yeah. Some tracks, the pit wall is shorter than others. This track is a pretty common pit road wall. Um, you go to a place like Dover, Delaware, and the pit wall is like another foot tall. So the guys, uh, it's even more of a balancing act. So, so under, it's only so big. What happens when somebody's trying to pit there right in front of you? Uh, you may have to put it in reverse. So that's another thing. Strategy, you may pit at an angle and try and block someone in like this. Or you pull out park like this knowing that the guy is going to short pit. So you got about two foot behind you and about three foot in front of you. And you're constantly playing with that based on if a car is in front or behind you when you come down there. Is there any like penalties if you do it wrong? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Your nose... See where this tape is? I just backed up so you can do, share that. Every, every box typically race time always tapes off when you want that front left tire to be right or front. Yep, corner. front left tire. You're saying that little 90 degree? Yeah. That little yeah. 90? Yeah, so if you park your left tire right there, mm -hmm. that's your goal. Your front bumper is going to be about three foot past that, and then you're going to have like another three foot to that line. But if your front bumper goes over that yellow line, they have cameras set up everywhere, you get a penalty. It's pretty, pretty wild. Hmm. Typically, you would go straight off, but on the road course scenario here, like this, you're gonna turn left and blend onto the road course racetrack. this with the roval mm -hmm. so you actually have a way to get in there because people can camp and stuff inside this part of the track. Really? Mm -hmm. Like right here? Yep. Yeah. I'll, we don't fill this whole area like we do for, for the roval. Most of it is all going to be on this asphalt and a little bit of the grass area because uh, when you're in you're in. I mean you got to be committed so uh, there's a circle K convenience store inside the track You're right there to there. the right so they're selling beer ice and everything see them do the roval you think they're gonna be on the dark coming out of out of this they're over here they're over here in the paint and you got to turn right before you get to that curve so you're gonna clip that almost like right and left from <laughs> and then you turn right just trying to keep your speed up and you try to you're flipping this or no yep a little bit and then you you're hard in the gas driving all the way out to this edge and then once you get to the edge here you lift again and then a little bit later and then arc in and you're gonna eat this curve alive, just t -t 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 hitting it. And then you're gonna kind of crest over this hill, but hold it somewhat tight. And then this is blind downhill, turn left. And then you're hard in the gas, driving out of here. And you're basically gonna drive a push all the way to this fence. Like it's not gonna turn, not gonna turn. You're just gonna stop. And then you lift. And then you over and I 
usually shake the car and do all that. It won't. It's we're 24 degrees. Um, Daytona, <laughs> 30, 33 degrees, and Bristol's 36. Right? Yeah, we go to Bristol two days from now, up. and it's got another 10 degrees of banking than this. This is pretty <laughs> insane. There. And when you when you drive Bristol, I got a chance to go there and do it too. Is they. You really do look out this window as much as you look out this window because you're in the turn so much. You're trying to look ahead when you're in the turn to come out and see where you're gonna go. <laughs> this is wild. This is dude. crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> and my car always hit all, hit all these sensors go off. Like, Man, something's wrong. <laughs> We're losing oil. Can you do this at 185? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. I want to go for that. Don't be missed in cameras here. So. You ready, Dano? <laughs> Look at that turf, I love it. And you see how much it tires on here and there. And if you see some of the videos from last year, I mean, cars hit that and almost got off the ground. They may have, but they look like they're almost off the ground right now. Oh, yeah. You can hit the red and white curves, but if you hit the blue curve, they call that a turtle. It's all kinds of jacked up. Well, it looks like it's got a bunch of give, like it'll bend down. It's pretty hard. Like, Oh yeah, yeah, it's solid. Yeah, blue. The yeah. blue one's solid. It will tear It'll stuff up. Jump, jump air, yeah. go airborne. Heck, you guys sent some of yours down to Daytona, right? Yeah, they used ours. They painted them. I guess that's something you know. They're not going to use it a lot. We already had them. It made sense. But I think the cool part about telling people about the chicane being put in there is the fact that if you didn't have that and you came off four racing for the win you can imagine you know racers want to win no matter what they'd be balls to the wall and get here and then not be able to make that left hand turn there'd be no way possible so that's why they put that in and you still see you know when chase elliott ran of course that was a different <laughs> deal but he still ran into the wall it happens and then that's an entertainment deal the pit road sweeps those are pretty cool like they'll have food up there they have radios so sponsors can uh, get sweets in there. It's exposed, so you're not in the air condition, but you're right about the air Dan's gonna have his Crocs off feeling that. <laughs> Sorry, I almost hit you yeah, in the that's door. Alright. And when you get in here, you can feel a little of the black stuff, but also there's sand in there. And I don't know if you remember when we had the coke 600 the first year this was here and the guy the troops thing we always do the big military deal so the helicopters came and landed 
did their little show, troops got off and on, then they took off. But when they took off, all this sand took off and blew over into our pit suites, and everybody had food and drink, we had to go back and replace it. Because we didn't plan for that. Didn't realize, didn't realize that was gonna happen. Oh no. But there was, I think, eight inches of sand underneath what we see right here. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty comfortable just stand on. Oh, I know. Let's see your back handspring. <laughs> <laughs> I had to feel of my toes. Right There's condos in the turns over there uh, that so people can buy. Condo? Condos, those two buildings there with the blue uh, glass out front. Yeah. People condos. live in those and they do rent those out. Really? Yeah, we have the suites here, these type of suites. There's all kind of there's so many ways to watch a race here. It's okay. <laughs> so check it out. Get ready to walk up here. Show you how steep this really is. Yeah. Out of all my years, I've never walked on a race track. There you go. Really. So uh, you got two walls here, the original concrete wall. So the track was originally about three foot wider, but about 10 or 12 years ago, they came out with safety, uh, you know, new deal, the soft wall. So you got this foam and then you have a steel wall. And if you hit this, it will slide on top of the asphalt and absorb part of the impact. So that's the original wall. That's the original wall. Isn't that right, Mike? Yep. Because you're already holding the wheel right. Well, no, you hold the wheel left because you're going so fast. It's just a street car, you hold it to the right because you're going slow. But if you go below wow. this line and you hit this, there it goes. From banking to no banking, it'll just de wedge the car, change the suspension, and shoot it to the right. Or just spin it. I've seen that happen in some races. Mm. So oh, that yeah. Makes sense. oh, yeah. Can you imagine standing here and someone drive by at 196 miles an hour? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a bullet. Oh. The spot, you got one set of sponsors on this side, the race sponsors on this side, and it's craziness. Then they go. One, two, three. Woo! There you go. Um, these cars, this is another different deal. You know, it's like basketball and football. They will go. 330 miles an hour from here to those signs. Actually, they were 338, I think, this spring. They got even faster, but we had the world's record for a little while. You see Matt Hagen, he did it in 3.9. Um, it Now they 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 just keep finding ways to go faster. If you go walk on that track right now, I bet your feet will stick to it. Uh, you will a little. We can go see how it is. It's a whole lot of fun to watch these guys do this. Oh yeah. This oh, so this is this is staging right here. Yeah. This is, I don't know. We're getting a little more. Crop shots. Oh, there we go. Yeah, on the edges. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not kidding. It's the first time I stepped on it. Oh yeah. I pulled, that's stick I pulled my shoes off. We do a track walk before the final day on Sunday. Everybody gets to go down and walk the track and come back, um, which is kind of cool. Different than NASCAR because you come out here and you, say for instance you're a John Force fan or whoever it might be, you watch those guys race, it may take 45 minutes, and then they go to the pits, and you can walk down to their garage and watch them work on their car. Yeah. They'll rebuild a motor in 40 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. They have guys. They probably do it every race. Oh, we found they the spot. Over over. I think it's, if you want to go to the moment, you're going to end up rebuilding that motor out of the same time. This crocs are like anti stick. Yeah. There, there we go. Yeah. This is a secret right here. Yeah, you can find some places that's got a little extra stick. But trust me, come here at race day, it's. it's 
sun's out. Yeah. It's been here before. It's been 140, 150 on the Ah, there you go. <laughs> it's a terrible noise. This one, this will take his shoes off. Are you like this? Is... We're just walking the track looking for your stick. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,